Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing a medication known as Tamsulosin. Its brand name is Flomax. Now before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. And quickly, if at any time during this video you find this information to be valuable, please consider leaving a like on the video as it would really help me with the YouTube algorithm. So first, what will we cover in this presentation? We'll start by talking about how Tamsulosin works. We'll then discuss indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe Tamsulosin. We'll then discuss examples of dosing and then stick around to the end where we'll talk about side effects with percentages. So how does Tamsulosin work? Well, first of all, it's an alpha-1A receptor antagonist. It selectively blocks sympathetic nervous stimulation of the receptor, which causes relaxation of the smooth muscle of the prostate, prosthetic urethra, and bladder neck. It improves urine flow rate and causes a reduction in symptoms of benign prosthetic hyperplasia. Now, in terms of indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, we often see this medication used to treat BPH, or benign prosthetic hyperplasia. There's also some off-label indications, which would be urinary system disorders after a spinal cord injury. We, it can be used to treat lower urinary tract symptoms. We see this medication used to treat radiation-induced urethritis, as well as a neurogenic bladder. Now, with respect to contraindications, the only real contraindication here would be if a patient had a hypersensitivity to Tamsulosin or to any other component of the formulation. What about dosing with Tamsulosin? So when it's used to treat benign prosthetic hyperplasia, the initial dose would typically be 0.4 milligrams orally once daily. If there's no response after two to four weeks, the patient may increase the dose to 0.8 milligrams orally once daily. When it's being used for its off-label indication of lower urinary tract symptoms treatment, they can use 0.4 milligrams orally once daily for about four weeks. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using Tamsulosin or Flomax. So I'll go over some of those here now. A backache may occur 7 to 8.5% of the time, and 9 to 11% of patients may develop an infectious disease. Asthenia or abnormal weakness may happen in 8% of patients, and dizziness may happen 15 to 17% of the time. 19 to 21% of patients may develop a headache, and 1.5 to 2.5% may develop insomnia. Somnolence may occur 3 to 4% of the time, and abnormal ejaculation may happen 8 to 18% of the time. Rhinitis may happen 13 to 18% of the time. Now, a more rare but serious side effect would be priapism. That's all we're going to talk about today with Tamsulosin or Flomax. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. Different for today. Take care.